Let's solve an exact differential equation. What is it? Exactly. So here what we do, first of all, replace y prime by dy over dx. And then cross multiply, because you want to put it in a certain form. So we get 6y squared minus x squared plus 3 dy equals minus 3x squared minus 2xy plus 2 dx. And then putting everything on the left hand side, we get 3x squared minus 2xy plus 2 dx plus 6y squared minus x squared plus 3 dy equals 0. And this is now of the form p dx plus q dy. And the next step is to check if this equation is exact. In other words, all we need to check is that pi m is quixotic. So here, pi m, py, that is 3x squared minus 2xy plus 2. If you differentiate this with respect to y, the only thing that remains, it's minus 2x. And for q, what you get here is that quixotic becomes 6y squared minus x squared plus 3 with respect to x which also gives you minus 2x. So here pi m is quixotic, which means we can basically get our solution by integrating. Because what this is telling you is that if you take pq, this vector field if you wish, it is the gradient of a function. So it's gradient of f, so it's of the form fx, fy, which tells you that the x derivative of f is p and the y derivative of f is q. All right, so what we get is fx is p. So in other words, to get f, you integrate p with respect to x. So here it becomes integral of 3x squared minus 2xy plus 2 dx, which then gives you x cubed, x cubed, minus x squared y plus 2x plus some junk. Technically, the junk is a function of y, but here we we'll just call it junk. It's a bit easier. And now we just want to play the same spiel with q. So f is this, and then, so now what we get, fy, it's q, so f is the integral of q dy, which now becomes, so q was minus, sorry, q is 6y squared minus x squared plus 3 dy, which then becomes, 3, or sorry, 2y cubed minus x squared y plus 3y plus some junk. There's f. In this case, junk is a function of x. And then you just compare those two without double counting. What do I mean by that? So notice those two functions, so f, they have a common term, minus x squared y minus x squared y. So what you do, you combine all the terms, but you just put minus x squared y once. So what we get is f of x, y, then becomes, so x cubed minus x squared y plus 2x, and all those other terms plus 2y cubed plus 3y. And again, you're not adding this minus x squared y again, because you already have it here. And then what does that have to do with anything? So here's a beautiful fact that makes exact equations work. 
what is this solution? You just let f equal to a constant. So the general solution is fxy equals to a constant. So in this case, the solution becomes the solution curve x cubed minus x squared y plus 2x plus 2y cubed plus 3y equals to a constant. And this one, unfortunately, you cannot solve for y in terms of x, but what this becomes is some implicit curve. Think like the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now, mm, we're not quite done yet because we do have the initial condition. So we do have that y of 0 equals 1, meaning that if x is 0, then y is 1. So all you do, you plug in x equals 0 and y equals 1 in this equation. So then you get 0 cubed minus 0 squared 1 plus 2 times 0 plus 2 times 1 cubed. So 2 plus 3 equals c. And then this just implies that your constant is 5, I believe. And therefore, what is the solution to our ODE, it's simply x cubed minus x squared y plus 2x plus 2y cubed plus 3y equals 5. Whoa, how cool is that? And if you want to see why this fact works, just stick around. It's just a very quick proof based on the fundamental theorem of line integrals. Why does this work? Because suppose, again, your differential equation is p dx plus q dy equals 0. Well, this looks like a vector field almost, or like a line integral. And in fact, let's take this and integrate it over a certain curve. What is the curve? It's the one that starts at your initial condition. So I believe 0, 1. And it's just a curve of your solution. So if this is like y of x, it's just the graph uh, of your solution until you reach an arbitrary point that you fix first, x comma y. So technically, if you want the technical term, you fix x comma y and let c be the curve that starts at 0, 1 and that ends at x comma y. And then what you want to do, you want to integrate this equation over this curve. So integral over c, integral over c. Well, the integral of 0 is just 0. So that's on the one hand. On the other hand, we have integral of p dx plus q dy. And all this is, it's the line integral of f dr where f is a vector field p comma q. But the whole point of finding the antiderivative is writing capital F as a gradient, f dr. And then there's this beautiful theorem, fundamental theorem of line integral, that tells you the integral of the gradient is just f at the end point minus f at the starting point. So in this case, f of xy minus f of uh, 0, 1. So what is that saying? The total contribution here is 0. So the way it works then is that f at the end point equals to f at the starting point. In other words, this minus this equals 0, which implies that f of xy equals f of 0, 1. But here's the thing. This is just a fixed constant. Therefore, in the end, we do have that f is constant on the solution curve. How neat is that? And I really like this because it illustrates the power of multivariable calculus. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.